Hey everybody, I'm Sain Das and I'm a Solutions Architect with AWS. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can access data that is stored on your Amazon S3 data lake directly from the Amazon Redshift Query Editor v2. Let's take a look at how we can do this using the following hypothetical scenario as an example. You are a data analyst who uses data residing on Amazon Redshift for your reports. You have now been informed that you need to use an additional data set from the enterprise data lake on Amazon S3. The data has already been crawled using AWS Glue crawlers, and the required data is available in an AWS Glue database called Customer. You will be able to do this from Query Editor V2 by following these steps. This is the Amazon Redshift Query Editor V2 screen. Log in to the Amazon Redshift cluster you want to use by clicking the name of that cluster. To query data that is in your Amazon S3 data lake, you will need to create an external schema that points to a specific database in the AWS Glue data catalog. You can create an external schema from Query Editor V2 by clicking on the Create button and then choosing Schema. Type in a schema name. We are going to call it Data Lake in this demo. You can also grant ownership of the schema to a specific database user by checking the authorized user checkbox. We can pick any database user from the drop down list. This is going to be an external schema as this schema will be pointing to a Glue catalog database. Choose external for the schema type. Now you will have to make a few more choices. You will not be able to choose a region as this will default to the region where your Redshift cluster is located. Now choose the Glue database which this external schema will map to. The drop-down list will show you the list of all Glue databases that you have in this region. We will choose the customer database. From the next drop-down list, we will choose an IAM role which has permissions to access your data lake from Amazon Redshift. Click Create to create the external schema. Now, this external schema will be added to the tree structure on the left side of the screen. Click on the data lake schema to see the list of tables in the Glue database. If you click a table, you can view the table schema from the query editor window. You can also query these tables using ANSI SQL in the same way that you would query any other Amazon Redshift table. For example, let us try to run a simple select on one of the tables. Right click on a table name and then click on select table. This will generate a simple select star from the external table that resides on Amazon S3. Clicking Run will execute it and you can see the results right here in the Query Editor's results window. You can even run queries that join this table to other local Redshift tables if you need to. That brings us to the end of this short demo. Thank you for watching.